Play different. Greetings, fellow Macadix. In this video, we're looking at Sim Rabbit. I'm not saying Sim Fox, but first, Sim Rabbit. So, what is Sim Rabbit? Well, I'm so very glad you asked. Well, first, take a look up here. So there's three items, 5.4 megabytes available. Fire up Sim Rabbit here. Oh, we already see something going on here. Bunny 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's have a look at the About screen. While you're reading this, this application is breeding as fast as it can. On the good side, they will stay in the same directory as this application, which makes them easy to collect and erase. Australia was 99% quote-unquote vermin-free 200 years ago. The action of this application is a tiny sample of the problems caused by introduced species. Help to heal the land. Alert. All right. So, it's getting, oh, so yeah, as so we can see, it's a... Uh, 458 items in here now. I should probably quit some rabbit because they're still going. And oh, it's climbing. 400, 500. Gonna get to 600. Yep, 600 and still going. And it's 4.5 megabytes now. Uh, still climbing. Love rabbits. Eight, nine, nine, nine hundred. Gonna get to a thousand. Nope, it's gonna stop at 986 and 4.4 4 megabytes available. Uh, so yep, there there are uh, what is rabbit's egg? If you're wondering what's in these files, let's open one up. It says who is a bunny and a bunch of rubbish. I say rubbish and not garbage because I am Australian, and this is about Australia. But uh, when we introduced rabbits to the country and they kept on multiplying and multiplying and. You know, he's kept eating all our crops and causing us a whole bunch of trouble. Uh, eventually he took care of our problem and we can take care of the problem here using SimFox. Or he's starting to go down a little bit. But SimFox just cleans up the mess left by SimRabbit. The same message as before here. We're dropping here. 698 now. 461. We'll wait patiently. So yes, this is a digital simulation of how quickly the rabbits kept on breeding and took over the, the country, much like they quickly bred and took over my hard drive in this simulation. Although we didn't use foxes to take care of the problem, we introduced a virus which killed about 95 to 99% of rabbits, uh, but then they developed an immunity, and now we have other techniques to take care of rabbits, uh, that's good. Uh, I still see them hopping around the landscape every now and then, you know, next to rabbits, uh, next to kangaroos, because I live in Australia. Uh, I quite like rabbits, but they uh, do cause quite a bit of problems. There should also be a sim chuzwuzza. Of course, it's easy to just drop this application into another folder without sim fox and just let it run on someone else's computer and uh, just let the rabbits take over it, but that'll be not very nice, as the old saying goes. The simple message is this: we tend to blame the farmers for the loss of our great land, but they, many slash most, are now as sorry as the average greenie that has happened. Now that they need help, where are the people that they help to feed? Help a farmer to heal his land. There, so yeah, there's a message behind this. I don't completely agree with it, but most of it. One little side note, I didn't really know what this was when I first ran it and went to go make myself a nice cup of tea. When I came back, there was over 6,000 rabbits in my uh, folder and less than a meg of space available. There should also be a Sim Settler application where it uh, simulates a whole bunch of uh, English settlers coming in and taking over the country, much like white people did to the Aborigines back in the day. A little bit of biting commentary from me there. Anyway, that's SimFox and SimRabbit. A really nifty little bit of digital commentary.